Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fabi, and welcome to Arrows DIY. On my channel, I like to do Dollar Tree DIYs, high-end dupes, thrift flips, and the occasional trash to treasure. Today's day seven in our 10 days of live crafting shabby chic extravaganza. And today, for you, I have one very, very crafty lady. Her name is Mary Beth, and her channel name is MB Gray Designs. So I have her channel linked in the description box below, and she came back to craft some more shabby chic with us today. So let's welcome Mary Beth. Hi, everyone. There she is, <laughs> right over Thanks here. Thanks for having me back, Father. You know I love my shabby, right? So, <laughs> yes. Thank Thanks. Thanks for coming back. All right. So um, let's just say hi, see who's here in the chat. Yeah. All right. I'm so we down, have... I'm just looking at the phone to see. All righty. No worries. We got Robin here from Robin's Buys and DIYs. We got Maria Rivera here. Maria, please don't let me forget. <laughs> and then we got Little Treasures by Nancy. Hello. Thank you so much for stopping by today. We got Mary from Mary's Kind of Crafty. Hello. We also got Denise B. Hi, Denise. I'm not sure if you know, but you were one of the winners two days ago. So, oh, that's so exciting. I'm going to contact you through Instagram at some point. So keep your Instagram chat handy. Now we got Oregon Zan. Hi, Suzanne. Welcome. Thank you for coming back today. And, oh, Jerry from A Happy Hoarder. Thanks so much for being here. And let's see. Oh, we got someone new today. Monica oh. from Up All Night DIY. Welcome. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let's see. Oh, and Steve from Harnell Media. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. And if I miss you, I'm so sorry. I'm going to, oh, there's more people. I'm sorry, guys. We got Joanne. Welcome. <laughs> All right, Maria got my back. And let's see. Yep, that's everyone so far. Awesome. So today for you, we got some shabby chic. Um, Mary Beth, would you like to say what we're going to be working on today? Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, hello, everyone. We're so happy you're here. Um, so I, by the way, Fabi and I were both in a collab that just went live earlier today called um, Thrift Flip Road Trip. So there's a really amazing playlist. Well, anyways, one of my projects is supposed to do thrift flips. It just wasn't working out for me. So I did not include it. So I want to try to work on it today. So basically I got this birdhouse and it was just, it was just like literally like, like, like uh, old wood. It was really old and it was painted like this tan with these checks. It was like from the eighties. Okay. So I painted it white. I had to literally dig, dig, dig to get all the stuff out. Um, this was like, I mean, it's like a railroad thing. It wasn't coming out anyway. So I started decoupaging it with this amazing napkin. So I'm going to finish and decoupage it and then I'm going to shabby it up. So that's what I'm working on. That is so pretty. Can I see the birdhouse up close one more time? Sure. Yeah. Just hold it there for a long time so we can admire. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that so much, Mary Beth. I love it. So guys, I completely spaced and I totally forgot to link our videos. So Mary Beth and I both made videos for that thrift flip road trip and they're live right now. So if you haven't caught my video, I'm going to link that at the end of this live in the description box and you guys got to check it out. I'm telling you this, this road trip playlist is amazing. So be sure yeah. to check that out. Um, let's see. Oh, oh thanks oh. everyone. I got to pick a number. So Today's Ooh. giveaway is sponsored by Mary Beth. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys caught the first live stream, but Mary Beth is a papy, paper papy. Wow. <laughs> Not papy. She's a paper crafter. So she has this amazing craft stash. Her paper crafting stash is amazing. And she's going to share one today with one lucky subscriber, if you guess the number. So Mary yeah. Beth, would you please tell me what between what and what for the giveaway today? Okay, so we've got 13 people on right now. So let's do between one and 48. We're gonna be weird. One and 48. Okay. Between one and 48. Between yeah. one and 48. Wow, I hope you guys can see my chicken scratch. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write it on this piece of paper. Uh, let's see, what number am I gonna pick? Mm -hmm. Pick a one. <laughs> A good one. All right. I got a good number here written down and it's going to go in the bushes so we can get crafting because one hour is not enough. That's right. All right. 
And no, I don't know yesterday's winner yet. I will link it at the bottom of that live yesterday. Apologies. So I am going to show you guys the crackle. I, that's what I'm working on today. I was working on it yesterday and I ran out of time. But today I'm a little bit more prepared. So this is um, another one of those signs. I got like five of them in my stash. And I've already put chalk paint. I put two layers of chalk paint on here. So now I'm going to use the crackle medium just to show you guys how it works. And one lucky winner is going to win some of this crackle medium oh, yesterday on yesterday's live. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to show it. I wanted to show it yesterday, but I ran out of time because that's what happens when you craft live for one hour. And I already put the chalk paint on. I'm going to put the crackle medium. We're going to let that dry. Then we're going to put another layer of chalk paint or yes chalk paint i'll use chalk paint just so you guys can see the difference and this is the one from yesterday it has gold on there don't worry about how it looks because this is the background color the crackle is going to go on both i put crackle oh, on yes. here yesterday so i put crackle on here i'm going to add the top coat now and hopefully we can see the crackle happen so we're going to see crackle on both of these very soon maybe i'll start on this one what are I the numbers? I'm sorry. I have a question about crackle because you know what? I've never used it. So my question is like the gold one. So what you did is you painted the gold paint, then you put crackle medium on it. And then mm -hmm. now you're going to put a new color on it, right? Yeah. Right. So okay. the crackle goes in between both colors. Okay. Okay. So now, does it when matter how long in between, like it was okay to just let it sit for a while or do you have to do it right? You don't have to do it right away then you can just, no, you could just let it dry oh. and then put the top layer okay. on. Okay. So awesome. I'm going to try doing that. Good. I didn't need what happens. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So I thought I missed the stream. No, Jerry, you didn't miss it. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, we're picking numbers between one, one. and What's the number again? 48? 48. Yeah. 1 and 48. Yeah. So pick a number between 1 and 48. I'm going to type it in the chat so that you guys can see and refer to that. Pick a number between 1 and 48. All right. So that's that. Yeah, everyone's picking 33 because I picked 33 twice. It's not 33, guys. I'll tell you that much. Oh, you did pick 33 twice. <laughs> I picked it twice just to throw a wrench in there. All right. Oh, we got Rainbow Cra Fairy Crafter. Welcome, Erica. I'm so I'm so glad to see you here today. Love the bunny you made. Oh, you saw my video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that. So yeah, I made a bunny. Um, and I also thrifted this really cool shelf. Love it. Um, I like the shape of it. So I really like that one. Yeah, you guys gotta go check it out. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mary. Yes, guys, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out. Oh, I'll hit the thumbs up. up. I need to hit the thumbs up. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Beth, for hitting the thumbs up. And, oh, Doug, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so I, I answered that question. All right, so if I missed your comment, I'm sorry because... I'm going to craft. So now I'm going to put on some of the crackle medium. You got to make sure when you're using the products to mix them well. I'm not sure if it's even good to do this. You probably want to stir it with a stick. Oh. But I definitely just did this. So don't do that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add the crackle medium on there. And then Bobby, I'm going to spend the entire hour trying to separate a napkin. Okay, that's just what's going to happen. <laughs> Any tips for that, let me know. <laughs> I usually cut off the border, but I don't know if that's what you want to do. Well, this one's or, already cut because it's a piece of when I first did it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I know. I'll get don't it. worry. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. We're not going anywhere. That's right. So now I'm going to just brush on the crackle medium. Now, when you brush on the crackle medium, uh-oh, that brush is not too clean. Oh, gosh. When you put on the crackle medium, you just want to be sure to um, make it nice and even when you put it on there. Um, and you don't want to add too many brush strokes. That's what the label says. Oh, okay. So, so try your best not to have too many brush strokes on there. And I want to see if maybe I can show you guys what it looks like. So I'm putting on the crackle medium and then we're just going to wait for it to dry. I don't want to apply um, heat to it 
because it is a medium, you know? So I'm just going to yeah. let it air dry. I'm just going to let it air dry normally. What's that? I Sorry. It would happen. I mean, as an experiment another time, I'm curious, would it do anything weird if you, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of interesting. You're the chemist. You I you am. Know. I know. I love testing stuff. Like right now, guys, I'm testing the YouTube algorithm to see what happens if you upload She's every day. Testing. <laughs> always testing. I know. It's true. She has it's a hypothesis. And I mean, she's good. <laughs> it's a scientist in me. I do it with my DIYs too. I'm like, I wonder what would happen if I use this. You're good so. at it. You, well, you're good at like asking out of the box questions. You know what I mean? To like to test things. It's awesome. You always Thanks. have eager ideas anyway. <laughs> and you too. You inspire me all the time. I Aww. love watching your channel. Guys, check out her channel. It's amazing. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. Aww, amazing. I love I love how you use different colors. That's what I love. You I'm love all about color. What's that? I said I'm all about the colors. <laughs> I know. She and then she loves uh testing and trying different brands of paint. So she had oh, I love it. I love it all. Okay. Oh, Billy's here. Welcome, Billy. We're gonna do some shabby chicness. Okay. So this one already has the crackle on there from yesterday. So I'm gonna add another. Now this one has the acrylic paint, not the chalk paint. So we're gonna see the difference between the chalk paint and oh, the acrylic nice. paint. Nice, that'll be good. This one's acrylic paint. So, um, one second. I have no idea, but my, I might be allergic to something around here. Let me see. Is it your husband, Fabi? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Right? It's my husband. I'm allergic to him now. Let's see. A little bit of glue tip. A little bit of glue tip off your ginger. I don't know what that means, Maria. I'm sorry. Let's see, Liz, same. Okay, they're just talking amongst themselves. So, uh, one second. So, Favi, um, while we're doing that, um, quick question. Um, whoever does win, they could, I was going, okay, I was going to pick up, I, I really do have a large stash of, of paper and paper, scrapbooking paper. Brand new. I wouldn't send anything used. Um, and I was going to just do shabby chic since, um, you know, we're doing a shabby chic thing. But Fabi, maybe what we could do, whoever wins, they could pick. I could do, Excuse me. I could like email and I could do either like a shabby farmhouse, floral, you know, something like that. Because I have different genres of paper. Right. Like any spring or any shabby. Spring. Yeah. That might be cool. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Finger Mod Podge, Mary Beth to separate the napkins. Oh, wait, what? Finger so Maria's Mod giving Podge. a tip for separating oh. the napkins. Thank you for retyping that. Finger Maria, Mod that's Podge. That's a great idea. I did get it, but that's, thank you. Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> so painful. No worry, Denise, go ahead. Let your cat out. Give, give your cat some air. Let's see. Hey, Favi, I'm back. Welcome back, Karina. Thanks so much for coming back. All right. So now I'm going to put on another layer. I think yesterday we said we were going to do pink. I think we said we were going to do golden pink, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. I'm going to put pink on there. Ooh, One second. You know, pink, green, and gold are my favorite colors. I don't know if you knew that. I do know that. Yeah. <laughs> So I love All right, so I'm gonna add. I'm gonna put on this color, the vintage tea rose by. Oh, Fogart. that's beautiful. Oh, I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right. So the giveaway today is some scrapbooking paper, like actual full books yes. of scrapbook. They're so like this is a really expensive gift, guys, because if you know what I know and she knows and we all crafters know, scrapbooking paper is not cheap. It's like at least $20 a pack, yeah. at least. Yeah. So you guys could get a really good deal today. Yeah. And I, I'll tell you, most of my collections um, come from like scrapbook.com. So they're, they're, um, Brands really good brand. that authentic, like, yeah. So, um, brands that specialize in just scrapbook, but you know what I mean? So they're nice. They're nice quality of papers. I guess what I'm trying to say. But yeah. So yeah. 
painting it on here. Let's see if it works because my paint was a little dry yesterday when I added it. So let's see if it cracks. If I see a crack, I'll show you guys right away. I'm Go trying on. to paint this quick. The other one might work better because it's fresh, but oh, hold on. Let's see. Oh, it's starting to crack already. Okay, let me see if I could show you guys right away. I didn't even finish applying it. And it's a sloppy paint job, but I just want to show you guys um, the crackle. Let me see if I can get better lighting. Oh, yeah, I can see it. That's cool. See, can you guys see how it's cracking? Hold on. And this is the medium crackle. Do you see the center there? How it's cracking right there in the middle? Yeah. That's really neat. So now we're just going to wait. And this is a thick layer. So the thicker the layer, the bigger the crack. The thinner the layer of paint, the, the thinner the crack. So you guys see how quickly it's changing? I'm sorry about the paint job, but I was just trying to show you guys. Oh, my gosh. It is changing quick. Wow. See how quickly it changes? I got to get some of that stuff. The thinner the, the paint layer, the thinner the crack. Okay. So I hope that makes any sense. But you see how quick it cracks, guys? And yeah. you can see that gold coming through. Now, it's still oh activating. Gosh. Oh, that is so cool, Fabi. I can't believe I've never done this before. But you're going to see the gold crack after a while. I'm seeing gold coming through. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hold it on this, um, hold it up a little longer so you guys can see the full effect. But do you see the gold coming through? Yes, I love that. Oh, my God. I got to go. So if you've never used crackle, that's how you use crackle. This is with acrylic paint. The, the next frame is going to be with the chalk paint. But there you go. That's how it looks for now. I'm going to set it aside. I love it. Uh, but I love testing new techniques. I love trying new things. So thank you guys for being here with me on my journey. Okay. And you too, Mary Beth. <laughs> yes. No, this is fun. And I can't, again, I can't believe I've never tried that, but now I'm gonna. Thanks for showing. Right, cool. So I'm just going to wait for this to dry fully. And then I'll add the little egg that I was making yesterday and um, probably add some scrapbooking paper or something around because it's a little messy there. Or just add a flower, put a flower on it, right? <laughs> put a bow on it. <laughs> All right. So that's how that's looking for now. Now this one, I'm waiting for it to dry. It's still drying. All right. In the meantime, I'll do something else. Let's see if I can find the egg from yesterday. Where did I put that egg? I've been crafting, guys. So my craft space is kind of horrific. Kind of horrific. Where is my egg from yesterday? Where did I put it? I don't even know where I put it. One second, guys. This is real life. Where did I put that egg? You're looking for an egg? I'm looking for my project from yesterday. <laughs> Don't find it. All right. Let me see. Where did I put it? I'm about to start brand new with something else. I'm getting bored of looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> While you're looking for it, if you want, I can show where I'm at with mine. Let me just get one. Yeah, that'd be awesome. One second. I am not the best at decoupaging with napkins, but I'm going to keep doing it because I haven't done it too much, but I'm learning. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. a little more fragile. I mean, so, yeah. So this is really actually kind of fun. Um, so hold on and I'll show everyone kind of where I'm at. No, take your time. Please don't rush. That's fragile tissue paper. Okay. <laughs> so Jerry here saying, Favi, did you do anything on the Cricut? Last I heard, it was an unboxing. Right. No, ever since the unboxing, I have not tried again. I haven't tried my Cricut yet. So that video, that Cricut unboxing video, actually still has a giveaway. So if you're catching the replay and you, it's in the description box below. If you click on that video and comment below that video, you'll get the Cricut cutting machines from Dollar Tree. So there's a whole assortment of stuff I found, and I'm just going to send it to anyone. Why? I don't know. I like giving away stuff. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and I grabbed two when I was in Dollar Tree. I grabbed one for me and one for the winner. So this might as well. Sweet. You're very okay. sweet. Oh, Lola's here. Welcome, Lola. You're the winner from two days ago. I hope you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, 
Thank you. Up all night. All right, so Lola's here. My kids are screaming. I'm sorry if you guys hear them. My Hello, video went crazy. My, my camera went crazy on me. Oh, there you go. Yes. Okay. Adorable MB says up all night, Monica. Thank you, Monica, so much. Thank Has anyone tried the saran wrap trick? Yes, Mary. Um, Jackie tried that trick when she was decoupaging her eggs on two days ago. And you put line. it over. I just watched a video on that, and mm -hmm. I actually just brought some over because then it helps where you don't get the, the wrinkles. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Let me get my saran wrap ready. Yes, awesome. <laughs> But I literally just watched that. I don't know. Within a couple of days, um, maybe it was on your. I don't know. I watched somebody doing it. Yeah, I, Jackie was doing that for sure. And also, I want to welcome Trish. Hi, Trish. Thanks so much for stopping by. Um. All right. Cool. No, I haven't checked my email yet, but I'll check it. I will check it. Um. And let me see. All right. Cool. Uh, oh, you just remind me, Trish. I have an open collaboration for march 20th if you guys want if you're a youtube creator a video creator you could participate in the what is it called christ is christ risen is collaboration risen. yes thank you the christ is risen collaboration by i'm hosting it's my first collaboration i've never hosted one before so it's an open invite and i'm super excited for that so you just reminded me trish thank you so much <laughs> and it's gonna be so amazing we're excited Aww. Thank you. Hi, welcome, Simple jo Simply Enjoying Crafting. I don't know your name. If you want to share it in the chat box, that'd be awesome. If not, you're welcome. Regardless, welcome. Let's see. Oh, Brandy's here. Hi, Brandy. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys want, you can go ahead. The giveaway today is sponsored by my lovely friend right here, MB Great Designs. She's a paper crafter, and she has a ton of scrapbooking paper she's dying to get rid of dying to get rid of i'm not joking so if you guys enter a number between 1 and 48 48 then you'll be entered to the giveaway yeah yeah so far i have shown how crackle medium works if you've never tried it before i try i showed live how this crackle medium works um the first layer there is gold then the crackle medium and then another acrylic paint on top the chat picked pink yesterday, so that's what I went with today. But that's how it looks like. And we're waiting for this medium to dry so we could see the difference between the acrylic paint and the chalk paint with the crackle medium. So that, that was the giveaway yesterday, crackle medium. All right, so that's that. One second. I apologize for my kids and their noise. I'm going to use the saran wrap. Oh, wow. It works. Oh, that's cool. Of course it works. Jackie says it works at Jackie Burns Creations. She was an art teacher, so she knows a ton. She knows all about, of it. Yeah, she knows <laughs> all, all that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I like it. Everybody needs to do that from now on because it really is awesome. <laughs> Yes. Did I miss someone? I feel like I might have missed someone. Oh, Harvey Price is here. Hi, Harvey. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I feel like I missed somebody. I Beautiful Birdhouse MB, says Lola. Oh, thank you. I'm just looking up, guys, and seeing if I missed any um, messages. Oh, welcome, Terry. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, Fabby, uh, I think that's it. All right. I hope I didn't miss anyone else's comment. If I did... You guys could just um, just repost it. That would be helpful so I can see it again because the chat's moving kind of fast. and um, It worked well on the acrylic paint. Right. That's what I'm saying. So with in one of my videos, I accidentally used acrylic paint instead of chalk paint. So see how my bottles look exactly the same? So when I was crafting one day, I grabbed the acrylic. I grabbed the acrylic instead of the chalk. And it still worked pretty well on my project. So I'm just letting you guys know that it works with both. But the label on here says to use chalk paint with it. So. Oh, it does. Interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, Joanne's asking if um, would using a Hikan to dry help it crackle more? 
Now, I think it would accelerate it in my personal, I think, in my opinion, I think it would accelerate it. However, I don't think it's good to accelerate an activator like a crackle, in my opinion, because I, I just want it to work on its own. And it works pretty quick on its own. I don't think you need to rush it. You guys saw it um, a couple minutes ago. If you missed it, you, you could always rewind. Um, but it actually does crackle. Look, it's even crackling even more. Um, it crackles really fast before your eyes. So I don't think it needs to be activated. I, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I mean, test it, right? Go ahead. Give it a shot. Let me know what happens. <laughs> Let's see. Be right back. I got called to the dinner table. Yum. Enjoy your dinner, Billy. Thanks so much for stopping by. So the full house has now got our pretty Robin's a nest napkin. That's so pretty. Karina was just asking, can I see the birdhouse? So perfect timing. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So, Fabi, I'm going to disappear into my um, paper room. <laughs> room. She has a room. Paper. Guys, I'm not joking when I say this. I it's not just ridiculous. I need to get rid of a lot of it. So I want people, I want it to go to good homes that will love it and use it. And I will never in my lifetime be able to use it all, you know. Our wonderful crafting community will use it. Yes, that's awesome. All right, so I'm going to go find some and I'll be right back. All right, no worries. Thank you so much. Let's see. Guys, I cannot find my egg from yesterday. I've been crafting too much. So I'm just going to go on to the next thing, which is this little bunny. I've already antique waxed it, but I'm going to shabby chic it up. Let's see. Church crafting would use it. Yes. A lot of people would use it. So I'm so happy that she's being so generous today. She being Mary Beth. Okay. So I have this. I'm going to try to shabby chic it up. I'm thinking... My original intention was to make it a boy because I've made one of these in my Easter tier tray video, if you guys haven't seen that. And it was a little girl bunny. I would show it to you, but it's on my tier tray in another room and my kids are in there. So we're running away from them so we can craft right now. But um, I was going to put like a little bow tie on him and his little eyes and all that stuff. The birdhouse was amazing. Yes. It was. I agree, Robin. I love that napkin pattern so much on that birdhouse. Me too. Look behind you. <laughs> um, that's a good idea. I should look behind me. The thing is, the children have been in my craft space every day. So, of course, I'm going to blame a child. I think they took it and ran into another room with it. So, I'll find it later on tonight when I put them to bed. But I'm sorry because I really wanted to craft with it. Ah, live crafting, right? All right, so you know what? I have some eggs here as well. So I could just make another egg. What do you guys think? Should I make another egg? Maybe I'll make another egg. And then I also have this. No, I'll just do another egg. Let's just do another egg. Unless you guys want me to do the bunny. I guess let me know what you guys think. That, ra that rabbit is so cute. Oh, you like it. Okay, so maybe I'll do the bunny. Oh, no, Robin. What happened to Robin? You hurt your arm. Oh, no. Oh, feel better, Robin. Okay. So either this, we do an egg. I'm going to start with the egg. Okay. So I'm going to Mod Podge. I'm going to Mod Podge some. Or, hmm. Should I Mod Podge? Or should I? Okay. I'm going to make an egg out of this. Do you see this? This is a straw hat from Dollar Tree. And I love the basket. Oh, yes, the bunny. Do the bunny. <laughs> do the bunny or the egg. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, let me tell you my idea, and then you tell me what you want me to do. Okay. So we have this little egg. I was going to just glue this on in, like, a spiral pattern around and then add some embellishments to it and then make it all shabby and then hot glue it to the middle of this. I could also make a lot of eggs so it looks like a collection of eggs. 
And then I can add some stuff at the bottom, maybe like some floral moss and some pearls and ribbon and shabby chic it up because they're all going to have little um, bows on top. Oh, I wanted to let you guys know tomorrow we're going to have um, the Rusted Willow, Tammy. She's going to be crafting with us tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. And the theme tomorrow is going to be butterflies. So that's exciting. I hope you guys tune in tomorrow as well. And my 10 days of crafting is over on Tuesday. So put it in your agendas if you want. Did anybody answer yet? Yes, the bunny. Okay, so the bunny it is. All right. So let's do the bunny. So should I make him a boy, which was my original plan? Or should I just do something completely different and just make it like another little girl? Let me know what you guys think. Mary Beth went off to find your scrapbooking paper so she could show you guys some of her stuff. I went to Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby, got pencil drawing supplies, and I have not drawn in about 20 years. I'm a bit rusty, but I'm drawing scroll, scroll, scroll saw patterns on my computer, on the computer. Awesome. Yes, I heard that you and Robin challenged each other to a scroll saw duel. So I cannot wait to see what you make on that machine. That is, make a little bunny boy. Oh, okay. Let's see. Is, do you have the most? I have four boys, if that was your answer. I have four boys and one little girl. So I already made the one little girl. Maybe I should make this boy. And also, she's saying, uh, simply enjoying crafting. Did she drop her name? I don't even know. Anyways, simply enjoying crafting says, make it a little boy. Bunny. So I'll make it a little boy bunny. All right, let's do that. So I have this. This looks kind of boyish. So maybe I can make a little bow out of this. That might be cute, shabby, I think. Oh, Leanne, thank you so much, Leanne. I'm so sorry. The, the, um, my, my comments are loading super like in chunks. So instead of it being like updating one a comment at a time, it'll just come up with 10 new comments and then 10 new comments. So I'm sorry if I missed your comments really. Okay. So I'm going to start crafting finally, right? This lady can talk. All right. Everyone says a boy. Yay. Okay. So let me start crafting. My hot glue gun is on. So I'm thinking of making like a little bow tie. Oh, actually, it'd be kind of cute if it's spraggly at the ends. That would be really cute. Okay, so I'm not going to glue. I usually hot glue um, this rope before I glue it onto something else. But it might be cute today for it to be a little like shabby at the end. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Let's see. Let's see what the chat's doing. Oh, no worries. It's hard for you to keep track of the chat and your craft at the same time. Girl, it is hard. Oh, yeah. Jer okay. Uh, yep, I used to tie my boys up with a rope. <laughs> Not really, but I bet I thought about it once or twice. Terry, you are funny. Okay, so this is how the end is going to go, I think. And then I'm going to cut it here and make a cute shabby bow. So got my ribbon scissors handy. And I'm going to cut it at about four inches like that. And I'm going to add something in the middle there to cinch it. And I'm just going to unravel the sides. Okay, Bobby. Mm -hmm. oh. I uh, found quite a few. So do you want me to show them? Because that's what hubbies do, Jerry. That's what hubbies do. Yeah, go ahead. Whenever you want, you can go ahead and share it. So I can I've make seen, um, this one for a while, a while uh, recently. Hold on. I mean, move some picture. And it's a vintage Easter. Why is this not? Because you have that... the filter. You have the setting on. Yeah. Hold on. Let me change that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take some twine. Let's see. What do we do? Where's my twine? Oh, Julie. And like, it's just vintage. Let me make you big so you can, you don't struggle to show it. Yeah, it's like vintage shabby shape. These are like the designs. Look at that bunny. And I actually, you'll see tomorrow in my video that's coming out tomorrow. Um, I This is a different one. I have another pad of it and I use several of these papers. It's really cute. So there's that. 
And then um, this one is, uh, these are older collections, but I figure I've never used them. This is called Wildflower, and it just gives you an idea of like some of the patterns. There's some good background paper. Oh, that's so nice. You know, Mary Beth, don't give it to them. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. This just kidding. one, if you like a little bit of farmhouse, this one's called Homegrown. So again, you've got like little mason jars and just, you know, stuff like that. This is kind of like that too. It's called Homemade with Love, which is one of my favorite collections. It has little recipe cards and just- Can you can you bring it like obnoxiously close to the camera? Oh, there's, there's a little bit of a glare, but that's okay. I see it. Thank yeah, you. It's in plastic. Some of them are. This one, um, this one's called Hello Again. And I chose it because- you know, there are some florals and just, you know, maybe some fabrics. They all come with, uh, a lot of them come with stickers too. So see like that floral sticker, you know, so it's beautiful. This one I think people are going to like because it's called Farmhouse Paper Company. Um, and there you go. That's so pretty. I love it so much, MB. I love it. And then this one is um, some of these are old. Like I said, I've, I've had them for a very long time. This one's called Reflections. To me, it's more like vintage, like keys, stuff like that, you know. Oh, and that's there gorgeous. Be, there should be a sticker sheet in this one, too. I love and the keys one. This one's really difficult for me to give up, but I'm gonna because I love all of you. Um, Authentic is one of my favorite brands, and this is called Meadow. And you can see on the front all the different papers. That's beautiful. That one can come close. It, that one doesn't have plastic, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Terry's yeah. saying, oh, I want those. Oh, my heart is pittering, pattering. Oh, and the then, joy in a paper pack. This one's the last one. Now, this is from Hobby Lobby, okay? And it came out several years ago, but it's really pretty. As you can see, it has a lot of, like, nice background patterns and florals and stuff like that. And it's pretty thick. So, this one, you... There's a lot in here, as you can see. So I figured that would be good, right, Fabi? I wanted, yeah, that's perfect. What? I want that. Let me guess the number. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder if you would have any, like, advantage guessing your own number. <laughs> I know, right? Let's see. Um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Yes. Thank you so much, Brandy, at making it my own. Yes, that would help so much if you leave a thumbs up. Let's see. Very pretty, Mary Beth. Where did you get those? Michael's? No, she orders it. Yeah, some of them online, but some of them I used to go to Tuesday morning, which there's no longer Tuesday morning, and they would have an amazing paper craft section that would carry brands that you could not get at big boxes, like the Authentique and the Bow Bunny and all these paper scrapbooking company brands, American Crafts, um, or I would get stuff on scrapbook.com. But like that Terrace Garden did come from Hobby Lobby. And again, that was several years ago, but so they might even still have it. I don't know. But yeah, you guys... I appreciate whoever wins because Fabi knows I need to, I will never in my lifetime. Be able yeah. to <laughs> oh girl. I oh, here you go to Tuesday morning. I'm telling you. Well, no, I'm, I don't know if it's the same as it used to be. It might be dangerous though. They shut a lot of them down. I think what happened is they didn't have a good online presence. You couldn't order online. And so when, when, you know, the pandemic hit, whatever, mm -hmm. it, it, affected their business. So I think that's probably what it is, but yeah. Anyway. Okay. So let me go set these aside. This is what will go in the, the box, Bobby. The, All right. Awesome. In a Terry box. says that Terry says they're all beautiful. You have an excellent taste and she does. Aww. And please check out her channel. Please subscribe because she has awesome taste. I'm not even joking. I love everything you make. Oh, Bobby. Everything. And she's my bestie, but still, I still love it. <laughs> Let's see. One person's going to have that. You have a name Tuesday morning. I don't mean to interrupt, but hold up. They shut so many of them down. Terry, you don't have to say where you're at, but I am shocked that you have a new Tuesday morning, and I'm jealous. Are you on YouTube to see the comments? Yeah, I'm watching on my oh, phone. That's why you have it real time. Hold on. I think I'm going to have to go on my phone, too. I'm sub to both of you. Sweet, Terry. Thanks. Oh my God. Yeah. So that's crazy. All right. Let me just set this aside. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Hold on. Now I can see the messages more um, up to date. 
All right. Oh, this Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I used to live in Oklahoma, Terry. I lived in Edmond, right outside of Oklahoma City. And then I lived in Mustang, right outside of Oklahoma City. And then I lived in Yukon, right outside of Oklahoma City. <laughs> now I'm back home in Omaha, but I was down there for quite a long time. Oh, Oklahoma. <laughs> so, um, Mary Beth, I can't find my egg from yesterday. So, oh no. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find it after the live at some point. You know how life happens. So, I have this little bunny from a DIY. I was going to make it for a video, but it was right here next to me. So, I love him. He's antique oh, wow. waxed and he's yeah. a little chippy. Look at him. He's Which a is awesome. Chippy. That's perfect. I love it. So, you see how it's sometimes Dollar Tree, um, has them all like you terrible exactly. and people do wood filler. I don't. I love his little chippiness. Yeah. He's so shabby. Oh, Fabi, okay. should I show my broken bunny that I brought? Oh yeah. The ear? No, the on the egg. Oh, oh girl, you broke two bunnies. <laughs> oh yes, I did. My poor other bunny. Oh my god. I know. Yeah, so show it. It's beautiful. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Well, You're getting a behind the scenes look at her current video she's working on. Yeah. Let me make you nice and big so you can show how beautiful that is. Well, except I broke his little hind leg. <laughs> he cracked in the process of molding, like when I took him out. But that's okay. You know what? Because it's going to be shabby. I like imperfections. We're going to paint him up. But he's going on. This is just a Dollar Tree egg. And this is this is actually an IOD mold, but um, you know, just a mold. So yeah. But he broke. <laughs> can you bring him a little closer so we can see the detail? He's so, yeah. Yes. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. Good job, MB. I love it. Yeah, he's cute. So we'll finish I love the up. color. I love the, the everything. I love everything. Yeah, he's, okay. he's sweet. I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking about it. I'll leave it in your comment box below your video. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So Fabi, what do you think? And, and the group, um, I really want to paint the roof pink, like a very light pink on top of the white. You think I'm, because it'll bring out the pink and I'm making it shabby. I'm going to be doing bows and all kinds of stuff, right? Okay, we're good I with that. I go for it. Lola says he's beautiful. He's so beautiful. Aww. Still cute. I'm, I told you. I told you. Don't worry about the crack. It's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. I did tell Fabi. I'm like, I broke him. And she's like, oh my God, you have to use him. You have to still use him. I'm like, okay. Yes, I love that one. <laughs> Let's see. So Terry says, I just brought, I just bought a paper pack and a diamond punch for candy boxes. They have really great paper crafting supplies. And I think diamond. the pink roof would look great. Yes. Pink. Oh yeah. It would look awesome in pink. Yes. Me too. Yeah. Terry, other that's awesome that you got a diamond. I have tons of punches. I need to start getting rid of those too. Bobby, you'll like those. I'll send you some punches. I'm so spoiled. I'm so spoiled by you. You're too good to me. You're too good to me, MB. No, you're good uh, to me. Yeah, she got me up. Look at this. this she my got me My homemade um, <laughs> paint. I'm going places now because of MB. Thanks, MB. <laughs> That's funny. D, D at Designers Loft says, yeah, a Victorian birdhouse. Yes, yes, perfect. I love that. Then he says, the crack gives him character. Yeah, that's right. That's, I think, what you were saying, too, Fabi. Definitely. I does, almost right? made that into a joke, but I'm going to refrain myself. I'm going to refrain myself and behave. <laughs> I almost made a joke. Now, let's go with pretty and pink. Yes. Yay. I'll pink. Um, I'll pink on the house. Oh, little pink on the house. Yes. Fabi, put a tie on the bunny. Yeah, I'm trying to, but I'm reading the comments. Fabi. You might want to watch my latest video. Of course, girl, I saw. I saw your thumbnail. I know that you mentioned me in your video, and I appreciate oh. it so much. I, I saw that, and I was like, is that me on that video? Oh, I that's so that. sweet. Yeah, I'm totally going to watch the playlist. It's just right after I uploaded my video, I had to go make some food change some diapers. You know what I mean? But don't get me wrong. I will totally watch your video many times. Okay. Is it, is, is, uh, is she on designer's loft, right? Oh yeah. Um, part of the, the thrift flip road trip, right? That video. Yes. yes. Awesome. I, I, I haven't like... gotten to the playlist either. I've only gotten to watch a few. So I'm definitely planning on doing that as well. I can't wait to see what everybody made. 
what a fun play like what a fun thing because this was the first month but it's going to be every month so that's nice yeah i totally appreciate that i'm humbled d i'm humbled thank you oh so sweet. here so here i have some shelf liner i just cut two little rectangles out of it oh yeah and i was crafting while i was chatting i multitask okay so Very after good. i got those two i'm gonna put the one little rope that I cut originally, and I'm just gonna cinch it up to make a little oh, shabby bow. I love that. Bunny. Thank you for our little bunny. And I'm gonna use some yarn I have next to me because I can't find my twine, but it's fine. But That's I like the you. fact that you're using yarn instead, actually. I mean, because I, you I, also use yarn. She's obsessed with yarn too, guys. <laughs> She's obsessed with yarn. She's a true crafter in spirit. I'm serious. Oh God. No, it's but I true. really do. You have really so much like, yarn. I love yarn. I love me some yarn. Me too. Gosh. No, you're not. You're I not. like all fibers. I think we all do. Macrame, yarn, twine, you name it, whatever. <laughs> we like Let's to use see. that. Right? Um, I mean, I a lot of yarn. <laughs> Terry, we are family. What are you talking about? I thought, I thought, I guess I thought we were closer than we actually are. This is awkward now, Terry. This is awkward now. <laughs> I'm just joking. I love the shelf liner layered with the rope. Looks like lace. Yes, that's it's that's cool. what I do. I like that the texture. Really it too. It's See, from the dog. You go out of the box and you just discover these amazing little things. I I wouldn't. I would not have thought of that. You know, that's what I like. You always uh -huh, the stories the bunny could tell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's see. Um, oh, that's cute, Fabi. Thank you. I love my yarn. Yes, for sure. All right. Yes. So I'm going to craft for a little. I'm going to leave the checkbox alone for a little bit. I'm just wrapping it right in the center there. And then I'm going to brush out these fibers so it looks bushy. I love it. Oh, okay. I love that. That is going right. to be so darling. Thanks. Hey, what is everybody working on? I'd love to know what people are working on. This you mean crafty wise? Like, are they doing, like, you guys doing Easter, spring? What are you guys crafting? In the chat. I'm crafting, I'm crafting Easter. I know you don't want to know, but. No, I'll I know what you're crafting. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know if you care, but. I'm I crafting care. Easter. <laughs> Mystery box video. Oh, how fun, Robin. That's exciting. I can't find my mystery box box. Uh -oh. Did I tell you guys? That's on the 16th. Um, That's a video, oh. a mystery that's box swap. Cute. Yeah. So I'm going to have to get crafty in like one day. Because yeah. I, I, I don't know. My shipment isn't here yet. Oh, they're crafting Easter. Oh, I love it. Uh, I oh, know. you're making clothes for your Etsy. That is so cool, Rainbow Fairy Crafter. Listen, I design my own clothes too. I, I, I don't sell them, but I mean, I've made a lot of um, women's clothing and little girls clothing and stuff. I love it. It's so much fun, but I I don't know. Right now I'm making a poncho for my sister-in-law that I, out of, she probably, I bet you Rainbow, you love really nice fibers too. Like. I love unique yarns. You know what I mean? Like just all different kinds. I don't know. It's fun. But that's cool that you're doing that. So I unraveled his little fibers on the rope from Dollar Tree. Where's the rope? It fell on the floor. It's too far away. Okay. Oh. So I unraveled this. So it looks kind of shabby. And I think I'm loving it. All right. I am definitely loving it. Here's how my pink roof is looking so far. Hold on one second. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're fine. Um, oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I got to figure out these buttons. Oh, no, you're good. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. What color is that? Oh, I mixed it. <laughs> because I was using, you guys, I was using that folk art. Fabi, I can't say the name of the paint. It it's the white paint. It begins with an A. What is that called? Adirondack. Thank you. And it's like the consistency of sour cream, no joke. And so I I mixed some red to make pink. And so, and I had to add about a quarter cup of water because it was so thick. And so this glass, by the way, 
came with this lid at the Dollar Tree. And so I made a batch of it and I've been using it for all kinds of stuff. So it's the Mary Beth pink. I don't know. Ooh, <laughs> Mary Beth. I like. The Mary Beth MVP. She's been uh, using that paint. I think how, this is the second video. Oh, third, I think that I've used third it. Third video. I need to find that glass. I really like that. How you? I, um, I know. I couldn't believe it. Have you guys seen that at Dollar Tree where it has the lid? Because I'm like, perfect. It just keeps my paint then, you know? It's awesome. I love it. Mm-hmm. All right. So now I'm going to hot glue it to him like this. And he's going to be like that. I, I'm thinking about getting a carrot now. Let's see if I can find it while we're alive. Like painting a little carrot for the middle of the bow or do you think I shouldn't do that oh that would or be just leave it like this but if it's if you want shabby maybe like a button or if you have a button laying around or a pom-pom or um you could make uh, or like a little flower. flower a carrot would be cute too but if you're kind of going more for the shabby shab yeah I was gonna I was gonna paint it like a light oh. blue oh okay you're not talking about one of those carrots already uh, never mind. I was thinking not wooden. I was thinking, you know, like one of the dollars. Like an embellishment? Like the twine ones or whatever. You're not talking about that. Twine ones. No, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, but twine carrots I'm curious. The orange twine carrots from Dollar Tree. The carrots. Orange twine carrots. Oh, oh yeah. I remember. I've never found those in my Dollar Tree, so I don't have any. Like these, but smaller. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not talking about that. You're talking about like a wo little wooden carrot. Yeah, I was thinking about a little wooden carrot, but I think I used them all on my DIYs. Now that I think about oh, it, I don't okay. think I have any left unless there's one here on the counter. Maybe I'll just do like greenery. I'll just put greenery in there. I think that would be really pretty. Yeah, that would be really it. cute. Should I use this flower I have left over? This um, what are these again? Pansy? No. Um, Peonies. Peonies? Yeah. Can I use that somewhere on my uh, birdhouse? Yeah. I don't Hold know. On. Somewhere. I <laughs> like it on top. A ribbon, I'll put it in the middle or something. Well, I don't know about the middle because I don't know. I, I, I would do it like on the top or like, like on the top of the birdhouse, like over here. But let's see what the chat says. Let's see what they say. Oh, love the pe peony. Where do you guys think she should put it? Yeah. We got rough. We got in the little, um, you know, the little where the bird eats. Or he says it's too big. It is. Too, it is pretty big. Maybe we won't use this one at all. You know what? I think I have where they're little buds. You know what? Hold on. I wonder if I have it. I know I do. Um, this is coming up in a video tomorrow. My shabby chic. Guy, but Fabi, remember I had the bud, the peony bud. Oh, yeah. And you told me to use it as a little bum for the yeah. bunny. I thought it was oh, cute. Yeah, that might be a better size for this. I thought it was so cute. I think it makes a cute little tail. Yeah. Love the peony. Oh, that would be great. I go for button. My, my, um, I think she means MB has great ideas. Blue carrot, too cool. Yeah, I was thinking about a blue carrot. Yeah, but I don't know. Bobby, now I'm here. thinking of just using greenery and just sticking it inside the bow and just leaving the bottom, like the middle empty. But anyways, this is the little greenery I was thinking about using. It got stuck in some. But oh, I was that's gonna, pretty. Yeah. I was, I was going to kind of like tuck it into the bow. I think that'd be pretty. I tuck it in. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. He's so cute. Oh, I love that. Let's yeah. See. Um, so the birdhouse just keeps getting better and better, says Mary. Oh, thank you, Mary. Lola says, I think she means MB. I love it. I love it, she says. Cute. I agree. It's too big. It hides too much of the napkin. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I agree with all of you on that. But they're so pretty. But you're right. Not for this project. I agree 100%. She loves your little bunny. Terry says, love MB, little bunny. Oh, yeah, that's going to be tomorrow in the Easter Around the World Challenge or collab There's that we're doing. There's three giveaways. There's three, three giveaways. giveaways and one gift basket. And that's actually hosted by our sweet friend, CJ. That's right. Um, over at CJ DIY. I'm sure you guys know CJ. But um, she's being so generous. 
and she has such great ideas. So guys, please check out CJ. I, I'm going to link her in the description box below. But tomorrow, there's 31 crafters participating in that collaboration. Can you believe that? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. try. I still have to edit my video, guys. Please help me. Oh, um, I do too. Like, I'm going to be up so late tonight. <laughs> me too. Good, goodness. All right, Terry, have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll let you guys know tomorrow who the winner of tonight is. I'm yes, gonna post thank you, Terry. Oh, and thank Karina. So okay, Karina, you think it, I think it's too big. Shabby is gaudy, I think. Once, once you, you add, add your other embellishments with that big flower, it's going to be gorge. Yeah, I think Shabby is gaudy sometimes too. Like it has like a lot of like the, the golds. And yeah, I like it. Yeah, like you, a lot of mixture of different things. And yeah, I'll figure out some stuff to put on here. I'll go dig through some things after I'm done editing, you know, for tomorrow's video. But you guys definitely want to check that out because there are some great giveaways that CJ is hosting. Yeah, I love CJ too. Yeah, that she's doing. It's amazing. So. All right. So now I'm just tucking the little flowers inside, like in between the oh. shelf liner and the cotton. Oh, the cotton. So it's like this for now. See, it's soft and beautiful. And, and I mm. love that against the stained wood, you know, I just love the mixture of the, I, it's so pretty. Um, oh, you. Terry's you. off to work. She, you're a lab scientist. Good Lord. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good. I need one of those. I need one of those. Those are the, those are the friends you need. The lab scientists, girl, yeah. girl, stick around, girl. I need you around. Just kidding. <laughs> the lab. Well, yeah, I, I was, I was almost a scientist, and then I had. I kids. know you were. That's why I'm laughing because you totally were almost a scientist. So I got both sides on there. I don't know if I should flip it up or if I should do it down on the bunny. What do you guys oh, think? Do the other way. Down or up on the bunny? Ooh, I'm thinking down, but thinking I don't down. know. Let's see what everyone else says. Looks we'll super cute, Fabby. Thank you so much, Mary. <laughs> Monica's laughing. Oh my gosh. Oh, Shanette's here. Hi, Shanette. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Different textures. Hi, yeah, for sure. Mary's worked for Hospital Lab for 43 years. Oh, my goodness, Terry. Wow. She knows Simply a lot. enjoying crafting likes it up. Mary likes it down. We're going to, it's going to be both. It's going to be. Up. I was thinking up, but you were thinking down. All right. Let's look at it on the bunny. Go Here's with your our model, our bunny model. And oh. it's funny how this is not even a big deal, guys. This is not, this is a bunny. But we're making this the biggest deal <laughs> because we're crafters. Okay. So this is how it looks if it's facing down. Okay. And this is how it looks if it's facing up. See, they're both cute. That's why it's like personal choice, Bobby. <laughs> no, I know. It's so cute either way. I, I love the little floral flowers, flowers that you put on there. Beautiful. Do you see me struggling trying to? <laughs> I know. That's how I was like trying to hold. It's like I'm backwards. Like this is backwards to me or something. I don't know. It's really weird. Okay. So <laughs> super cute, Bobby. Thanks so much. I like it down and it's gorgeous. Thank you. Um, down. Okay. Down. Okay. Everyone's saying down. I still like it down. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're going with down. Did you say down too, Mary Beth? You did. I think I did, but I kind of don't remember now. <laughs> I don't know. You did say down. I like it both ways. <laughs> okay. So I'll do down. I'll do down. <laughs> All right. I'll do down. I'll do down. Thank you so much. I needed that. Polo likes it up. See? It's up, down, up, down. You're just going to have to pick, Bobby. <laughs> well. Lola. Oh. I love that name, Lola, by the way. Me too. I love that name. Yeah. Hi, welcome back, Billy. Thanks so much for coming back. Yeah. I'm lost without you, Billy. I'm lost without you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so down. Lola. Lola, you're making this difficult on me. I almost, I got the hot glue. I'm about to. Oh, Terry has a good idea. Like cock, cock it so it's like sideways like one up one down what would that look like on his little one up one down you know what i mean like kind of at an angle mm. that's an idea too mary yeah. i am down with down <laughs> should, I give him, should, should i give him um eyeballs i don't like giving my um no no eyeballs i don't know what would you use as eyeballs would you paint it 
Yeah, I would, I would put the paint. Oh, okay. Black dots, and I would make it like in the middle of his face, so it's super cute. You gonna do a little cute bunny nose? Richie just said, "I'm a cute little bunny nose." <laughs> Wait, is he talking about himself or you? He's talking about me. He said, "You're a cute little bunny nose." Oh, <laughs> you see, guys, why can't my husband be like that? My husband, husband never says I have sweet. a cute little bunny nose. <sighs> <laughs> it's okay. He's making dinner. He's forgiven. Your husband's very sweet. He is. He is. He is. All right. I'm gluing it on and I'm gluing it facing down because the majority said that. Well, you should That's do what don't you want, Bobby. Please don't be offended. Sweet. I love you all. <laughs> I all your help. Karina, bye. She has to go pick up the kids. Oh, okay. Well, no, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't be sorry. I'm I'm so happy you stopped by. We had fun. Yeah. Thanks so much for, for making I'm just sitting in the chat. I'm not even, <laughs> I haven't even done anything else. That's all right. We're five minutes over. So yeah. we have, so let's, um, let's wrap That's it up. So this is what he looks like. I hope that's shabby chic enough for you guys. Oh, oh it's totally shabby chic. I love it. Yeah. And then I'm going to put him on the, um, I keep saying him too, but I guess that's a girl, mm -hmm. right? With that bow. I don't know. That's what he looks like. I don't know if I should put him on my tear tray because I was about to hot glue him on here, but I'm like, wait a minute. That's pink. All right. I'm going to, this is still not dry. Yeah. Let's see. Can we see your, um, still not dry. Your crackle. Just, I want to see what it looks like. The chalk for, okay. So, oh my God. I love that so much, Bobby. Is that the chalk paint or the acrylic? This is the acrylic paint. That's the acrylic one. Well, it worked really well. Mm -hmm. I think. I love it. Okay, so the chalk paint. The chalk paint is, I'm I'm not going to be able to show yeah. you because it's still drying. I thought it would have dried by now, but it didn't. Well, so I'll definitely show you guys tomorrow at the beginning of tomorrow's stream. I'm so sorry. I don't like keeping you guys, you know, like on. Well, yeah. you can show it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see what it looks I will. like. I will for sure. But this is this guy. This is how he turned out today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's sweet. All right, he could, that's live, what he he could like. live in the birdhouse, you know. We could have yeah. your buddy living. I'll in mail him to you. I'll mail him to yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not what you want. Do don't do it. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You should do it. Thanks so much, guys. You guys did good. You put. What do you say? What did she say? Yes, put them on a tear tray. You are quick at crafting. You too. Yeah. Thank you. I think she should too. That would be so cute. Both projects Aww, came out. So cool. All right. So I'm going to reveal the number now. You oh, both yes. are fantastic crafters and I enjoy watching you. Oh, thank you so much, Terry. You are awesome. Go on with your bad self. All right. That's right. Okay. Number. Let's see who wins. Yes. I'm going to reveal the number because add him to your tier tray. Yes. I will add him to my tier tray. I will for sure. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to reveal the number now. And that's Ooh. the person who's going to be winning the scrapbooking paper. If you haven't guessed the number from 1 to 40, 48. 48 okay if you haven't guessed the number between 1 and 48 go ahead and do that now once i reveal this number you cannot guess anymore i'm going to reveal the winner uh tomorrow or sometime tonight in the comment section under this video so if you guys can do that leave a comment below it really helps me out and you'll also see who won i probably do it about around midnight honestly i do it really late to check thank the winner Denise. thank you liz this number here's the number oh. here's the number <gasps> 47. 47. Oh my gosh. I don't know who guessed 47. Or and I totally broke a nail. Totally. Oh. Sorry for my crummy nail, guys. All right. So there it goes. 47. So congratulations. Tomorrow I will be on with Tammy from the Rusted Willow. Oh, how fun. Butterflies. I love Tammy. Oh, that's going to be fun. I can't wait for that. Can't wait to watch that. Thank you again, Bobby, for having me. I feel so special. I got to come on twice. <laughs> Girl, I feel special that you came on with me again. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Um, that wraps up another episode in this live series. Mary Beth, do you want to say anything to the chat before we wrap it up? Just thank you so much for being here. And go watch our thrift flips. We would appreciate yes. it. I'm going to link yeah. those videos below so you guys can watch. They're really cool. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, All everyone. Right. Yes. Take care. God bless. Catch you on the next one tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till then, stay cool. Stay crafty. Bye.